six football players. One goal. The football team will draw cards, and if they draw the yellow card with the school, they must do the challenge. If they draw a green card, they are safe. Above all, they must be. Go. My hands on this one. My hands on this one. Hunter. The contestants get 30 seconds to slap Brady with tortillas. Go. <laughs> Hunter will have 30 seconds to eat three ice cream cones full of mayonnaise. Go. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Brady will have 30 seconds to eat one can of baby food. Go. <laughs> 15 seconds. Aaron will have 30 seconds to eat one spoonful of cinnamon. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Show your mouth. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Eli has 30 seconds to eat one tortilla covered in the bomb hot sauce.
Tá. Aaron will now have 30 seconds to eat four sardines. Fifteen. Congratulations, football players. You have four points. Five volleyball players, one goal. The volleyball team will draw cards, and if they draw the yellow card with the skull, they must do the challenge. If they draw a green card, they are safe. Above all, they must be... <laughs> Haley must be slapped by tortillas for 30 seconds. <laughs> Audrey must eat two ice cream cones full of mayonnaise. seconds. <laughs> Time. Haley must eat one can of baby food. I have to eat one spoonful of cinnamon. Renee must eat one tortilla covered with the bomb hot sauce.
Audrey and Haley must eat one certain. Officially 3 a.m. guys, and I've snuck in out of my house. So now we're going to my car so we can get on the bus to go two and a half hours to the Spanish trip. Disclaimer, I did not actually sneak out of my house. It's broad daylight as you could probably see in the video. So please ask your parents for permission before leaving your house or you might just get in trouble. Thank you, have a nice day. Hey everyone, it's me. You missed me, didn't you? You missed me totally. Yeah, I didn't miss me either. Yes, I'm sorry for last segment of where I got the team name wrong. But that's alright. Mistakes happen. Don't, don't boo me. I know you're booing me. Don't talk to me. So, story time. Basically, I went on a Spanish trip with Hernandez and all the other Spanish club people. So, Hernandez got down there. I just pretty much hanged out with my friends until then. We got on the bus. And you know how long it was? Ah! Two hours and 30 minutes to Chicago? That's a long time, even for me. I'm a little bit impatient. Ugh. I didn't even bring any snacks. You know how hard that is? And what's even worse, I didn't bring anything to entertain myself. The only thing I had was my Game Boy and my phone and the camera that I brought around the trip. And I didn't have anything to charge it with. Oh my god, I should have brought like my Switch or something. Heck, I could have brought a whole plasma TV and a PS4 to entertain myself. Well, actually, well, actually I couldn't because there was no electrical ports on the bus, so yeah. Anyway, while I was on the bus, I saw a few, few cars and went, Ooh, look at that car, ooh, look at that car, as I passed by while playing on my Game Boy. I tried to speed run Pokemon Silver. I got to the second gym, and then when I turned it off, and then got back on the bus after, it had reset all of my progress. So I was pretty unhappy when I found that out. So, we all got off the bus and started walking towards the museum. We all took a group photo. Uh, we basically got there 30 minutes early. But it wasn't that bad because time passed pretty easily. I think it was 10 minutes. I don't remember. I have a bad memory. I now realize that. So we got in and I asked if I could record around or take photos and they said yes, thankfully. Which was very nice. Until I got to the last part of the museum where they said no photography or recordings was allowed. And that was probably one of the most important parts of the museum. It's very disappointing. So, when we got inside, we all had to split up into five different groups because there was a maximum of ten people per room. So, I went with Dylan Fishback, Jacob Brubaker, Noah Riffle, and Noah Hamilton. And we all started walking around reading and writing. Well, no, we didn't do any writing. So, we all started walking around learning about all the Spanish culture and reading about it. And I got a couple pretty good videos. I'll show them to you right here.
So after we explored all the rooms, we got to go to the gift shop, which was probably a bit expensive. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I didn't spend much, but people spent like 40 bucks there. Jeez, oh my. So Noah and I decided to try some candy out, and um, it was not the best idea. It was not the best idea at all. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I got watermelon and Noah got mango. So when we got out of the gift shop, we took one from each bag and we all decided to try the watermelon first. Um, it's, it's a hard candy, but um, it has chili powder in it. And the only reason we found out is when we started to chew on it. The bad part when we chew it on it is that all the chili powder released all at once and it was horrible. Like, I didn't, it was, the candy itself, like sucking on it was fine, but when you shoot it and all that chili powder comes out, oh, that is, that, that sucks, it's, yeah, it's terrible. And after the museum, we got some ice cream. I didn't get any footage of that for some reason, but I'll show you a picture of what I got right here. I had the chance of getting a SpongeBob one, but these these are better. Trust me. So after that, we thought we'd have some free time to go around Chicago and buy some things. I even looked up a GameStop, but no, we didn't have the time. So we all walked to the Mexican or Spanish restaurant in a single file line, and we finally got into the restaurant and I had a cheese quesadilla, which was pretty good. He spilled sugar on himself. He did. You ate quesadillas with sugar. I did eat quesadillas that, that, with that sugar. That's bad. I put sugar on my que cheese quesadilla for the flight. I didn't do it because I thought it was good. I put, it, I did it for the funny. Yeah, altogether the trip was pretty good. I rated it a probably a seven out of ten. I would definitely go again if we had like an hour of free time to walk around, maybe Chicago, go to shop, go to a couple shops like maybe a comic book store or a GameStop or something like that. But definitely, I liked it overall. The bus ride back, however, was not the best because I was very tired. After that, and I was just drained and everything. My Game Boy was dead. My phone was almost dead. The camera I had pretty much was dead. So I had to wait until I got home to record all of this footage. So yeah, I liked it. I would do it again. This is Caleb Wilson, signing out. This is Damien Gone and Amber Blackburn. Today we are going to Elemental Art Studio to see what they have in store for the public. Elemental Art Studio is a business run by Tessa Brooks, a graduate of Rochester Community High School. The studio is located on 713 Main Street in Rochester. Alright, so my name is Tessa Brooks. I am the owner of Elemental Art Studio. Uh, I'm 19 years old. I started this when I was 18, fresh out of high school. So, for the, for the canvas painting, these are each of my different sized canvases, and they're each a different price. This one here is $5. It also includes the studio fee, so it'll be 5 plus 8 or 6 depending on if you're an adult or child. This one is $10. This one goes to 15 for the painting plus the studio fee. All of them are, I keep forgetting to say that. And then this one is 20 So I've got acrylic paints that can be used on these canvases. And I also offer some lessons to do that with, and that usually runs, we can do like a nine week plan, 20 bucks a week, something like that. And I also have some different mediums, so like modeling paste, coarse texture, and these are really fun to work with. They're kind of some of my favorites to do. Most of the people that come in the studio are younger, but I do have a pretty big age range from both kids to adults. So in five years from now, I think my goal would be kind of to get my own building, maybe a room for each type of art, something like that, a lot more events, more 
uh, canvas painting, stuff like that. For myself, I really like to do the canvas painting. Acrylic paints are probably my favorite medium. The most common thing people do here is probably the pottery painting. It seems to be the most popular. It is really fun. So other than the pottery painting, I've got some canvases you can paint, some mixed media papers that you can do, watercolor pencils, oil pastels, sketching, all that kind of stuff. For the pottery painting, there's a studio fee that is $8 for adults and six for kids, and that basically covers the supplies. And it also, you can do three pieces of pottery under that fee. And the pottery itself ranges from $5 to $35. And then for the canvas painting, plus the studio fee, there are canvases, different sizes that range from $5 to $20. One of the most fun parts about pottery painting that I think is why it's so popular is the difference between when you paint it and when it comes back out of the kiln. So this here is before it's been fired. It's real dull, you know, not so fun. And then bam, it's so bright and colorful, and it's just awesome. Um, the customers kind of vary from time to time, but it seems like the cold months are my most busy with Christmas and whatnot. Christmas, my light up Christmas trees are really popular. Some holidays, yes. It kind of depends. A lot of times I'm open right up to the holiday, but my hours being at the end of the week just depends on where they're... Oh, uh, yeah, so I actually do... Sometimes people hire me to paint the pottery for them. Um, as like a, what do you call it, a commission. So I can do commission pieces as well. Uh, so my hours are Thursday, Friday, 1 to 7, Saturday, 10 to 6, but I also take appointments during the days that I'm not open. So like Monday through Wednesday, if you shoot me a message, I've got Instagram and Facebook that I take messages on. Um, I can do any time, ahead of time. I don't take car. I can do cash, check, and... Hello. And welcome to Fishbowl. Three contestants will present a product to us, and the best idea will get invested in. I wonder who will be best of the best. The first contestant is Noah with a light switch for chairs. It's a breakable light switch. Introduce yourself. Yeah, what's your name? Hi, I'm Damien. I have a uh, breakable light switch. It's for, um, it's for your own protection if someone breaks into your house. Of course, they might have a flashlight. But when you're going through your house turning off all your lights, don't, you want to make sure that they can't turn those lights back on to find you. So instead, you use a breakable light switch. You turn it off, and you break the tab off. And then they can't turn it back on. Okay, so how, like, how does it... How does this help, security-wise? Yeah. It prevents them from seeing you, that way you can hide in a closet like the coward you are. So, are you saying your lights will be off, and then... You turn like they on can't turn it on. Like they can't turn it back on. Yeah, they but can't. They can't turn the light. You back also on. can't turn it back on. Yeah, no. Does this blind the the attacker in any sort of way? Does it? I think it does the opposite. If, if they have very bad night vision, yes. Hmm. All right. What's your goal? How much money are you plan yeah. to make by the end of the year? My money plan to make by the end of the year is one hundred. $25. And how much does it cost to make that product? One dollar. One dollar. So. Huh. How much do you plan to sell for? Two dollars. Two dollars. So you are trying to make less than a third of the money each day? Or, I mean, you offered you said you would make $125 by the end of the year. But think about it. If you're getting only $125 out of a full year, that would be a third of the money you'd be making each day. Not a very good money plan. But 50% of the product is what I get in return. 50% of the product is good, but for a cheap quality product for $1, selling for $2, it's just more of another light switch in another house. Yeah. And honestly, security-wise, I don't see how it can help in any circumstance, whether it be blinding the attacker or if the attacker is blind. I mean, what do you think, Curtis? Uh, I mean, it might work if you're, like, wearing, uh, dark clothing. 
because you blend in like with the darkness. But yeah, if you're wearing like bright clothing, then you'll probably stick out of it, especially if they have basic vision in the dark. What if the attacker wants it to be dark? Well, in that situation, you take your light switch, if it still has the thing on it, and you turn it on. Hmm. So it's pretty much just a normal light switch that you can... Your everyday light switch in yeah. your house. Yeah. Except you can take the tab off to make it not work. And it's yeah. a one-time use. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It, except it can be used multiple times during like normal use, except for like when you really want to break it off, you just put a little bit more into it. Hmm. I liked your I, idea at the start where you were going, but I mean, if it were multiple use, like everyday light switch, it would be much more functional. I do like the idea that it does have a one dollar, or what'd you say, two dollar cost? Mm -hmm. I like the idea that as a two dollar cost, you can buy multiple of them, but having to install them each time would just be a pain, so I'm mm -hmm. gonna have to say I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. Oh. It sucks. It seems Noah did not impress the minnows whatsoever. Up next is Dr. Nick with craziness. Hi, everybody! Hi! It's me, Dr. Nick, back with a genius product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, tone product. it down a bit and introduce, just introduce your product. It's a heater for your freezer because it's too cold in there. Okay, but what about the perishable food that you put in the freezer? What will happen to that? Will it you go back? You turn it off. Then the freezer will get cold again. Yeah, but what if you need to thaw the chicken out because you're not home? You just turn mm. this on. Wouldn't that be what the oven is used for? Yeah. But you're not home, so the oven will burn down the place. But why would you cook chicken when you're not home? Like so it's all thawed out so you can cook it when you get home. But I mean, that's what time management is. Yeah. I have an idea. You come back to me with an invention. Maybe just like a cooler, maybe like a little mini mini fridge. But it's a heater but that cools the you make it a heater. Up. You make like a mini but fridge, but you make it a heater. It's like a mini oven. I would be more I don't have the money, that's why I'm starting out small. All right, so what's your money goal plan? I plan to make one billion dollars by the end of the year. I don't think that'll happen. One billion? Let's see. What is your co what is your product cost? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. The main. And what are you selling it for? Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. So tax income, you're probably making about maybe like thirty, thirty four, thirty three dollars. It's genius. It uses batteries, so the environment safe. So is it is this battery required? Is this solar powered? It runs on batteries. Sixteen triple A's. Sixteen triple A's. That's a lot of batteries. Yeah. Not but lie. it does the job. That's like. Well, a how long do the batteries like last? Does it drain the batteries quickly or? No, not at all. It lasts pretty long. Does it take triple A's? Does it double A's? We can't work out the double A model at all. So triple A's. Yes. I see. Well, triple A's are pretty expensive. I mean, yeah. I mean. But like five dollars, so that's another yeah, five dollars. Like that's where my problem. next thing comes in. Oh, he's got no problem. No, no, please no. A light switch. My next product is a light switch powered by sound. If I say lights off, it goes off. And if I say lights on, it sometimes goes on. So doesn't that already exist? No, that's the clapper. You clap on, you clap uh, off. Well, technology already like that. It does exist. An Amazon Alexa could be connected to your basic everyday. But this one you can hold wherever you want. That is true. Yeah. The receiver can work even five rooms away. It has a mind of its own sometimes. I mean, it is sound inductive, isn't it? Yeah. So how much does it like cost to make? One hundred dollars. And what's your selling price? Fifty dollars. So but you get three in one. Three of the light switches. So you're actually losing like over a hundred. You are losing over basically a hundred and fifty dollars in the product. But here's the thing. Yeah. We're going to do tons of sales on it. So you lose more money. So what kind of sales? Half off? Or where? We're talking 90% off every 90 week. 90% off. So why don't you just sell it at that price instead? Well the receiver is a hundred bucks. The switches are like five bucks for a set of ten. See. 
Okay, so what's your money plan? I want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year with this genius product. It's a no for me. I'm going to finish. say, yeah, definitely no for me. But what about the freezer? I, well, as I already said, if you were to make like maybe a mini fridge, perhaps well, with a heater inside it, I would be interested in that. Yeah. But well, I have a better solution. Foods. Yes. This brings out my next idea. Orange juice paint. It's orange juice and a paint and one. So uh, what about the toxic chemicals in paint? No, it's just like orange juice. It's like food water coloring. So it's just orange juice that you're also able to put on a wall? Yes. So uh, does it stick to a wall well? Yes. Hmm. So it's sticky orange juice. Yes. I want to make a million dollars and I'm going to sell it for 10 bucks a gallon. I'm out on all three. I'm out on all, I'm out on all any idea that you have. change the world. Do not come back. Yeah, never come see, back. Don't. Never make see, another product. I don't. It. I'm actually kind of interested. Yeah, I'm good. It's very yummy. It's made from the finest oranges. Opium? Yes. 50% opium in this. You are killing yes. people. Out of here. Out of here. I'm Get out. out. No. Bye, I'm out on every I'll idea you make in the future. Week. No, do not. Up next is Sarah with glasses that make everything look smaller. Don't listen to him. He has no idea what he's talking yes, about. Yes, I do. My name is Dara Strasser, and I'm known for being really smart, and that's why I came up with this invention, which is asking what What's the product? Yeah, it's non-sticky tape. Do you want to know how it works? How does it work? I put it up on the wall, and you know how things are hard to get off. Tape is yeah. hard to get off. So I put it up on the wall to hang something up, and then I put regular tape over it, and it just holds well. And it doesn't stick, so you can just take it off. So you're using tape on tape that doesn't stick. So you're pretty much just like putting a piece of putting like a piece of like plastic on there and just putting tape over it. Yeah. So you're taping tape to get a non-stick mm -hmm. tape to stick to tape on non to stick tape. Yes. Wow. That's done. You're done. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm done. You suck. Someone else buys for a lot of money. You should call me dumb. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, I was the last contestant. We're going to figure out which contestant to invest in. Yes, and we'll yeah, be right back. Uh, the, the light switch is probably... Uh, no, I the light switch is kind of... I hate both ideas. Yeah, I, I hate... I, I hate chicken would be bad before I hate home. both ideas, but Damien's idea is so much more profitably yeah. stupid that it might actually... But, but yeah, here's a, his here's idea a big might problem with it. What the robber hears you make sound. He is making only two dollars per product. But, if people buy multiple of them, maybe in like, packs, then that would actually be more profitable towards yes. your goal. But what the robber knows they're making sounds, and knows where you are. Well, wouldn't you be hiding? Because, I mean, it looks like it's a mobile mm -hmm. light switch that you can bring anywhere. Yeah, but guess what? The robber would just follow the sound, and you'll be dead soon. But, I mean, light switches aren't that loud, are they? Not really. Yeah. Like. Click maybe. Would you like a demonstration? Yes, we'd like a demonstration. Okay. Hold this up to the mic. That was pretty quiet. I mean, I didn't hear Extremely that. Extremely quiet. Yeah. I don't even think the microphone picked that up. Dr. Nick, before ah. our final decision, would you like to make a counter argument to see yes. why we would like to buy your product? Mm -hmm. Yes. What if the robber knows you have that product and he brings in a bunch of sound equipment to track you down and he has to keep. Wouldn't it be yes. more smart to what bring What if he a had a thermal light? camera? Wouldn't he be able to find you? A thermal camera, yes, but wouldn't Because he? my boy did the lab research and found that those products are bad for the environment. They're the equivalent to a lightning cable. A lightning cable? A mobile lightning cable? Yes. Like lightning... They're made out of recycled Apple lightning or... cables from Apple. All I do with this is... I take the light switch, I saw the switch off. No, I went to the lab. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of agree. Seems pretty eco-friendly. I just hot glue it back together every time and it can be reused. 
Hmm. Yeah, I mean that's also a way yeah. to lose money. Just hot glue it back together. But the chicken. Yeah, it's pretty reu. It's actually kind of reusable. I mean, it's pretty much environmentally friendly, other than the. The freezer is really used up. to. Three. Yeah, but uh, keep this is like cool, a, like this is like a Kickstarter, so then they can make them. It will melt your ice cream. cream. Yes, yeah. exactly. What if I want my ice cream? I heard there's uranium like, in this product. Would you have to get you're a second ready. freezer that you don't eat things with? No, most people have multiple. First of all, opium. No uranium. What, what, what's we, in the other product that you have? We do not For sell opium? uranium. We we do use opium. That's the pink part. The orange juice. It's a 50 50 percent chance you'll get sick. All right, I think I've made my final decision. Yeah. I heard that its factory also uses Damien. plutonium in the ceilings. Right. That's very questionable. I think, I think Damien has a better idea. I think Damien does. Also. But this is a good there you go. Start. Me and Curtis will offer you one Jolly Rancher. Yes. For about 75 percent of your company. How about I give you 100 percent of my company? Okay. For two Jolly. I'll Rangers. give you for two. Yeah. Deal. Right? Uh, Deal. There you go. Here's my whole company. Goodbye. I'll be back next week. Yeah, thank you. No. Yeah. I am never going to use this. Goodbye. Well, that was fishable. Hey. Uh, wow, that was truly fishy. Yeah. Is this the parking lot?